Welcome to our review of The Hangover, the breakout comedy success of 2009. Directed by Todd Phillips, starring Bradley Cooper, Ed Helms, Zach Galifianakis, Zach Galifianakis, mm. Heather Graham, Justin Bartha, and Jeffrey Tambor. Can you tell us what uh, The Hangover is about? Does it have anything to do with the title? So yeah, The Hangover, um, essentially, yes, very much to do with the title. Uh, Plot follows four friends uh, to Las Vegas for a bachelor party. Um, they have quite a night, such a night that uh, they essentially wake up the next morning and re realize that none of them remember anything and they're missing one key little thing, which would be the groom himself, which is a bit of a problem considering the fact that he's due to get married the following day. So essentially that's the plot. On their night of binge drinking, they lose, they wake up the next day, can't find the groom, need to spend the whole time, and it's kind of like yeah. in real time. So no, the film um, is then, you know, takes place kind of recovering, the, retracing mm -hmm. their steps. So, you know, a um, little bit of a puzzle, you know. I, I was going to ask you why you thought this film turned out to be such a success, but I'm going to... Maybe yeah, just sure. jump in yeah, and, and give an answer. The, the reason I thought that this film was such a huge success is because I felt it didn't hold back in its um, approach to humour. It was quite real in terms of someone's night. Obviously there were extravagant events that happened that would never really happen but probably could happen in Las Vegas and it treated it in between insanity and believability. It also didn't hold back in terms of the production value. There was like a car crash scene where a car came and hit them when they were waiting outside one of the chapels. And I thought it was done very well and like it, it was quite impactful and you weren't expecting it. It just kept throwing these punches at you. Yeah. There was a tiger scene where they wake up and I think they went all out and said let's make the best comedy of the year and I feel that a lot of times films are so formulaic that they stick to this structured regime and yeah I, mean, I, I don't want to ramble on but tell me why you thought it was such a success. Number one for me was the cost. Um, I, I, okay, obviously I had seen one or two of them, um, I'm not sure about uh, the, the guy with the beard. Uh, Zach Zach, Zach, uh, yeah, he was like for me outstanding like part of the film. Um, for me, oh, the, the dynamic between the four of them was, was amazing. And, and another thing, as far as I understand it, I don't know if you were aware, but it was based on real life things that the actual filmmakers mm -hmm. was based on their real life experiences, which was quite an interesting thing to find out from our side, um, which is, I think, quite believable for anyone who's been to an out of control, out of hand bachelor party. Um, so, yeah, from that, from that angle, something that one can relate to. Um, and then another angle, I think also brilliant marketing. Um, I think the posters were, 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 were spoke a thousand words. Yeah, look, I, I think marketing um, only goes so far. So yeah. far, you Absolutely, know. Absolutely, but I, I don't think that dictates well, it. I'm, I'm just. The, I mean, I, don't tell the Blair which project that because they'll get upset with you, but yes. Uh, uh, I mean, with a, a, a modest budget of $35 million, which I, I think they spent every cent on in, in this massive production value. And they grossed $467 million. Grossed almost pretty much, <laughs> close to half a billion dollars just in the cinema. It, it, was, it was a breakout success. It was one of the highest successes. Won a Golden Globe. Yeah. No, Good. outstanding. Well, yes. Uh, Golden Globe yeah. for best motion picture, musical or comedy. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Bit of interesting information. Um, yeah, no, I think um, hilarious. And anyone who hasn't seen it, yeah, it, it's feel good. Feel yeah, but I think it's also. I mean, the humour itself, um, more for obviously more for adults. I mean, I don't think. Uh, I I don't um, give it um, full marks perfection, even within the genre, because there were a couple of things that irritated me about it, which yeah. which a lot of people liked. Like, there was that guy who who was in the trunk and he became a little the bit Chinese irritated. Yeah. Oh, I loved him. And most people <laughs> did. I just... I, like, for me, I like loved that Tyson was in it, but then again, like, he wasn't the most believable, like, from a performance perspective, out of all of them. He kind of broke from everyone else. That's the one thing I, I had an issue with. Um, but I, have, I mean, in terms of a perfect comedy, strange enough, and maybe another review is Old School, because the same director of Old School directed this, 
and Old School is probably one of my favourite com comedies of geez, uh, the last 10 years, I would even go as far to say. So, um, you know, in terms of uh, follow-up and uh, success, Hangover. Yeah, it, it's kind of like that raw edginess um, in terms of sexuality sure. and crashness. It's treated with a sophisticated edge and makes it palatable for commercial it's audiences. As well. yeah, but yeah, it's, it's, it's not you know like what you're doing. It's something that I realize now with old school and this. You look at it, even though it's outrageous, you relate to it. Ultimately, you go, you go, like, oh, you know, a couple but, of guys going. What I'd, I'd like to do, and obviously we should do it in our analysis of films, is maybe be more specific to the film. I'm also being quite general in yeah, saying, sure. well, you know, the, a lot of the, what we're saying can be applied to that, but in, in, in this film, I, I mean, I, I think that they had film parodies in terms of like parodying it to Rain Man. There was like one scene which was quite unique. They kept throwing punches. I think a lot of comedies aren't funny all the time, This like maintain the yeah. humor. And I think it was the talent. You, you mentioned the cast. I think the, the, the writers and the director behind it, I think they were obsessed with making an amazingly brilliant comedy, whereas I think other comedies are, don't have this heart and soul. I, I really think that the cast and crew made this film into something um, sure. special. Um, yeah, I mean, it was... A and, and obviously the gross helps in multi-views. Um, I think people have watched sure. the film. Oh, but I mean, I just remember that one, I mean, if you're going to talk particular things or whatever, I mean, that the scene where they wake up, it, like you're saying, it's like hyper-realistic. <laughs> like, they push the envelope, and sometimes you wonder how far are they going to push this envelope. And like, the guy wakes up, and I mean, there were certain things that were just like completely whack. I mean, obviously the tiger waking up, there's a like tiger running through their living room, which becomes part of the narrative, obviously. Um, there's just the most bizarre things you've ever seen in your life in one room, you know. Um, which from that perspective uh, it illustrates how they push the envelope, but to the right extent. Yes, and, and I... Perfect. Because, you know, like, you can imagine these guys sitting in a room like this, and they're going, okay, this is all, these are the things I'm putting out there. Mm. And you're like, you, you're putting your heart on your sleeve, and this is, we're going we're gonna, to you know, spend money on this, and you're going to get this approved. I know, like, from my perspective, I am a director, um, getting things approved is a, a nightmare in a process. I mean, that's commercial, which is a very different land, but it's territory. But with feature films, I can just imagine sometimes these writers like coming up with these crazy zany ideas and people buying into them. And it, then producing it and delivering the goods and these guys did it. In my opinion. I, I think the, for me the, the most relevant thing that sums up my opinion is the aspect of pushing the envelope. Yeah. And I think in any art form, whether it's photography or commercials or music, you have to push the envelope in some area. Mm. And in a film like this, it did it in quite a few areas. See, pushing comedy is such a delicate thing. You can push comedy to the extent where it becomes hammy. And there are films out there that, like, you know, uh, for me, that are it's just, they fall apart because they become hammy. Okay, great. So, um, seems like we've only got positive things to say about The Hangover, yeah. except, uh, like I said, like one or two of the things where it sure. uh, it's not was a, a pushed, a it's pushed not a the believability for me just a little bit, because I like the fact that it stayed in a, a real environment that a lot of like films do, so maintained a level of reality. Every time it pushed the reality boundary, I, I think it maybe was, you know, maybe for a bit of a cheap laugh or whatever mm -hmm. the case is, but I felt that 90 Five. percent of the film uh, stayed within reality and I, I love that aspect in re believability um, and the film is highly entertaining and like a film we've just reviewed Shutter Island sure. which I actually didn't say in the review I'll say is not the most entertaining film even though I loved it so much this is pure entertainment go see it you'll love it sure uh, absolutely go see it you'll love it um, Rating as far as comedy is concerned, and eight out of ten for me, comedies. Like um, modern comedy. Yeah, mo uh, modern comedies. Uh, I'll agree with you on it. Cool. Yeah. Sorry, I, I just got like so irritated because I, I wasn't sure if you were aware of the time, even though it was right there. Yeah, I was. Okay. No, because I'm thinking then we come in so.